tonight, tributes for a titan of television. Bert Newton dies after a long health battle. Public health issues a stern warning to unvaccinated healthcare workers as the mandate comes into effect. A fish and chip shop goes up in flames. Scott Morrison given the cold shoulder by world leaders. Alec Baldwin breaks his silence on the film set shooting tragedy. And a star pie faces sex assault charges after a wild night in New York. Live from our seven Tasmania studios, your nightly news with Tom Johnson begins now. Good evening. He was affectionately known as Moonface, but Bert Newton was truly a star who shone for over half a century as a theatre, radio and television icon. Last night, Bert took his final curtain call. The multi-gold Logie winner, who many grew up watching, succumbed to serious health issues aged 83. Now hit me and say, get up. From the birth of television, there's one face that's always been a part of it. Hi, fellow Hi-Fi. Welcome once again to the Hi-Fi Club. For 60 years, Bert Newton entertained... <laughs> ..as Bert Newton. The natural, with the smile and the timing. Oh. <laughs> May I? Excuse us. Congratulations. <laughs> Starting as a junior radio announcer in Melbourne, aged 15. It was like going into a magic kingdom for me. And he would become royalty. His TV start at Channel 7 in 1957. Hello there. Welcome once again to the programme. Nice to have your company. Before a pairing with Graham Kennedy. My name is Bert Newton. <laughs> Big deal. Their first live ad together, meant to run 30 seconds, became almost 30 minutes of comedy. Oh, you can see what's happened there. What's that? Nothing very much. No, no. <laughs> One of Australia's great double acts was born. I think I'll ring that marriage counsellor. Don't bother. Why not? I'm already here. While TV was still finding its feet, they found the laughs. Pick up my dinner. The <laughs> king is talking. <laughs> If you don't pick that up, Bert, you won't be in the next series. You couldn't say that was good or bad because no one knew what good or bad was. Without you, I just can't go on. The moon won't shine and the day won't dawn. Without who? Without you, I'm zero. Without you. More sidekick success. Here's Don. With Don Lane in the 1970s. You've got balls. <laughs> Here is the highlight for this evening. I'm going to let you play with them. Dressed to surprise in his regular segments and not just the straight man anymore. Now we start. OK, you know what to say, don't you? <laughs> with the cheek that left them cheering. I don't know what it does for your weight, but I think I'm in love. <laughs> but his perfect partnership. Right. Would you like to speak to my wife, Patty? Certainly would. OK, ring her tomorrow. They were fellow performers on In Melbourne Tonight. 10,000 people gate crashed their wedding. Like grass upon the wall. Was that ass upon the lawn? And Patty Newton today, devastated. My heart is broken. I've, I went out with Bert when I was 21. I just think it's my life. Here's Uncle Bert. Hello. Hello. This is only a microphone. <laughs> He was the Logies King, hosting the awards show 19 times. Very sorry the show started a little later than usual tonight. We had to wait until last year's finish. Four-time winner of the gold. Oh, I'm so pleased. It's Bert Newton. The winner is Bert Newton. 1978 gold Logie winner, Bert Newton. <laughs> There for the first swearing on live Australian TV. Oh, <laughs> congratulations, Mike. His most famous faux pas unknowingly using a racial slur to Muhammad Ali. I like the boy. <laughs> Did you say Roy or boy? Putting his quick wit to the test. I managed to get out of it, but I feel to this day only just. I'll change religion, I'll do anything for you. 
There were tonight's shows, daytime, variety. The Bert Newton Show! Oh, oh my God! Oh, oh. Hosting Good Morning Australia for 13 years. Heidi Lang, please welcome her back to GMA. Celebrate it today. He came into everyone's living room, not as a star, but as a friend. He had a great sense of humour, um, and he understood probably better than most uh, self-deprecating humour, which is a real Australian trait, and he had it down to a T. He was known as Moonface, but he, sh he, he, br he shone brightly to Australia, yeah. and, uh, and we're going to really miss him. Family life was tested with son Matthew's battle with depression and addiction, accused of assaulting two girlfriends. We support him, we want him to get well, but in this particular situation, there are no winners. No winners at all. After TV... You're a clock and you're talking. Astonishing, isn't it? There was the stage and new life in live theatre shows. They called me wonderful. But he'd been plagued with health problems nine years ago, a quadruple heart bypass. Thank God I was here in time. They saw it, they did it, and here I am. Suffering, pneumonia, and earlier this year, infections led to a leg amputation. It's mainly for the grandchildren, because he wants to watch them grow. Grandparent was the role he relished. Happy Grandparents Day! A last photo shared just a few days ago with the grandkids, captioned, that's what happiness is. We loved Poppy, didn't we? Yeah. He died overnight in palliative care. Again, goodbye and God bless you. He will be farewelled with a state funeral in Melbourne. Bert was always larger than life, so he's going out with a bang. The legendary, some say mythical, Bert Newton. That's absolutely wonderful. And good night. From the Hall of Fame to the hearts of a nation. Somebody who had a good time and made us all laugh and, and there's got to be a special place in heaven for people who can do that. The boy from Fitzroy has sort of, he's done pretty well and you know, I think that's how Bert would feel. Paul Caddack, Seven News. As we heard, Bert Newton will be honoured with a state funeral. Estelle Greeping is in Melbourne and Estelle, Premier Daniel Andrews made the offer to Patty last night. He did, Tom, and Patty accepted. It's expected the funeral will be held here at St Patrick's Cathedral and more details will be announced in the coming days. Bert's friends say a public service is fitting considering he loved spending time with his fans and Kamal says he wants to pay tribute in song. And if I be allowed to sing Amazing Grace, that would be an amazing way to say goodbye to one of my dearest friends. Patty says Bert was larger than life and a state funeral will be the perfect send-off. Tom? Yes, it should be a great service. Thanks so much, Estelle, for that. To the rest of the day's news now, hundreds of health workers have scrambled.